In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use world edit commands to copy and paste a region of a world in Minecraft. So this copy and paste, for example, copy a, a building and then paste it around the world to go from having one building to having a neighborhood of buildings very quickly. So let me go back to the game. So for this example, I'm just going to work with this region, this little area with uh, stone and dirt there. I'm just going to copy that. So the first thing I do is you need a stick for a wand. So what I do is I'll choose E, go to my menu, take a stick, put it in my first in my first menu slot there. And then when I type slash slash wand For whatever reason, it's given me a second stick, but now I have my wand activated. And so, wherever I, wherever I right click and then left click, I'm going to region select. So, if I whack this area of dirt right here with a left click, you can see how in the left, bottom left side of my screen, it says first position set. So now I need to go to the opposite end of the cube that I want to select. So I'm going to come over here. Um, it's kind of an invisible cube I'm working with. So rather than working with an invisible cube, I'm going to stack up some blocks so you can see how I'm selecting the region. So there. So now if I go back to my wand, now I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit this top this top piece of dirt. Gotta be a little closer. Oh, there we go. Took a minute, but now it says second position is set. So what I've done is I've selected the region that kind of begins up here at the top. Top corner is this piece of dirt. Bottom corner is right down here. Now I've selected a region, but I still haven't copied it. So it will copy Um, based on where I'm standing when I type copy. So I, I like to stand kind of in the middle and it becomes really, and also on the ground, so it becomes easy to place whatever I've copied. If I copy when I'm in the air, sometimes it's hard to place what you want to, what you've copied. You might place it too low and then you end up digging a hole that you didn't want to dig, or you place it too high and you've got your building floating in the air. So standing on the ground is best. So I type slash slash copy. Now those blocks are copied. So I'll fly over here. And if I type slash slash paste, you can see how that works. Um, another thing is you might be interested in you know making sure you get the exact right size region copied. And a way to do that is to use your function key, F3. Now you have you have those coordinates in the top left corner, and that might be useful because then you know exactly where you're standing. You can you can copy like an exact region that's you know exactly a hundred cubes high or a hundred cubes wide or something like that with that that graph. The way you do that is instead of using the wand, you just type slash slash pause one, and now instead of Instead of choosing the brick, the brick that I hit, it's choosing the brick that I'm standing on. And so I've chosen first position by doing that slash slash pause one. And if I come over here, slash slash pause two. So you can see again, I selected a, I selected a an, an invisible region. So it's probably a bad demonstration, but you can see how I'm, I'm selecting without using my wand. And then I could use again that that coordinate information at the top left to help me choose exactly the right size region. I hope this is a helpful video.